Hi guys, I'm coming at you from the pickup line. Gotta love that mom I life. Do something. What? Wah. Oh. She's making progress in her speech therapy. Did you hear that hard F in the middle of waffle? Good job, Zoe. Good job. Mom life. Managing expectations. This is a hard one because I don't want to come off like you should always be pessimistic or that being realistic is being negative, but I struggle a lot when I am let down or disappointed. It tends to um, trigger a downward spiral for me when things don't go the way that I want or the way that I think they should. And um, so it gets to the point where like things aren't really bad, but because they're not how I thought they were going to be, it makes me go crazy. Or um, it also makes me unable to see the good of what's happening because if it's just, if it's any different than how I wanted it to be or how I thought it should be, then it's wrong. And so it really, um, it makes you miserable is what it does that makes you miserable. And so the hard reality is that life often disappoints you. Things don't go your way often. Um, the bitter reality is that life is just a series of disappointments. Oh. Just kidding. Um, but managing, learning to manage your expectations can go a long way. So I don't mean just always expect the worst, but always be willing to prepare yourself to accept the worst, you know? So it's like, for me, it's big on um, like what I expect out of Ryan. Ryan is amazing for a million reasons. There's certain things that are not his strong points. And I know they're not his strong points. And so if I'm constantly expecting him to perform a certain way that I know he is not going to, it just sets me up to hate him when I get home and realize he has not performed the way that I expected him to, even though I know the reality is that he'll never act that way, if that makes sense. So it's really just setting us both up for failure and setting me up to be angry all the time. Same with like family outings, you know, you, you picture a family vacation, family vacation with three small children rarely goes as planned. But it can still be beautiful and wonderful. You just gotta manage your expectations. I watched a TED talk years ago on managing expectations around parenthood. And one of the biggest reasons that parenthood is hard for people is because you haven't learned to manage expectations and because society and the world portrays one thing and reality is a different thing. And so when your expectations aren't met, it creates a big problem. Whereas, so what I'm getting at is life's not bad and things aren't bad. <clears throat> But when there's a deficit between reality and your expectations, that causes unhappiness. And so learning to adjust your expectations, learning to be realistic, learning to guard yourself and protect yourself against too high of expectations because it's a process for me. I'm always trying to learn how to deal with disappointment better because it is a big thing I struggle with. When I'm disappointed, I get really upset. And I kind of am like forever that youngest spoiled child wanting things to go my way. Um, I'm not driving, by the way, all you judges. We are parked. My car is in park, sitting in the pickup line. Anyway, just learning, not always to be negative, not learning to, you know, like, oh, well, it's going to suck. So I'm not saying that, but just get realistic about your expectations and go into things with the understanding that things might not go 100% the way you want them to go. And if you go in with that prepared mind, these disappointments hit you a lot softer. They're a lot easier to cope with. And then on the rare occasion that things exceed your expectations, then you're golden. Things are even better. But um, this concept of learning to manage expectations, don't expect miracles. Don't expect things. If you have people in your life who are always a certain way, don't hold them to some higher expectation and then be upset when they don't meet it. You're the one holding them to that unrealistic expectation. Same with yourself. Same with yourself. Give yourself some realistic expectations, manage them about yourself, and then don't hate yourself when you don't reach the unrealistic expectations that you had previously set. You see what I mean? A lot of us, because of things like social media and society and advertising and all the million other people portraying their lives different than they actually are. We've all created this set of unrealistic expectations for ourselves and our lives and our experience in the human life. And then we get angry when they don't meet those unrealistic expectations. So you've just got to get real. You've just got to manage that. You've got to manage it so that you can set yourself up to cope with things being realistic instead of unreachable.
So this is a big key in adjusting your attitude because um, as much as I try to learn to um, deal with disappointments better, I know that for me one thing I have to do is just try to not be disappointed as much. <laughs> so managing expectations has helped me a lot. So that's my um, challenge for today. I like when people watch me in my car making videos. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber. That's why I'm doing this. It's fine. Manage those expectations. Set yourself up for success and not failure. Set yourself up for contentment and not disappointment. That is the goal for today. Really goes a long way in managing your attitude, managing expectations. We got this. See you tomorrow. I'm not one to apologize for how I look. I think it's really weird to say sorry that I look this way. That's kind of weird. But like I'm sorry my face is this way that's weird however I, I am a little bit regretful I'm a little regretful that I didn't wash my hair or that I didn't record this whole segment a little bit further away from my face but I'm not gonna redo it so just turn your device around and put in some headphones <laughs>